So the Engagement Bridge is our model. Um, it's our model for how to build a meaningful connection between an organisation and your workforce. It's the product of the last 10 years worth of work at Reward Gateway, uh, working with over a thousand clients worldwide. And it basically includes the elements where we've seen engaged companies with highly engaged workforces really, really outperform their peers. So let's take a look. So the first thing on the bridge is open and honest communication. Of all the companies we've worked with, they've all outperformed in open and honest communication. We find that to create an engaged workforce, you have to work incredibly hard at this, you have to create multiple channels for communication to go up and down the organisation and across, and you have to really lean in and spend time explaining the why to your workforce and being very open. So that's why it's the foundation on the bridge. It's the foundation, we think, of employee engagement. Next up is purpose, mission and values. Companies that have high engagement really outperform in this area. They offer their staff a story, a mission, which is bigger than just to make money or create shareholder returns. There are some fantastic examples from around the world, from places like Starbucks and Interface Carpets, where they've really, really galvanised their team by allowing them to think about something which is much bigger than their day job. Next on the bridge, we have leadership and management. And while these are separate elements, we put them on the bridge together, and that's because they have a real high interdependency. To some extent, leadership is about what you say you'll do, and management is about what you actually do. And it's really important that you keep leadership and management in step, otherwise the culture can look inauthentic, can be inauthentic. Finally, at the top of the bridge, we have a trio of job design, learning and development, and recognition. These again, separate elements, but we put them together because in the best companies, they design jobs in a way where learning and development and progression and recognition is built in right from the start. Underpinning the bridge is pay and benefits, well-being and workspace. And you'll see very specifically, these do not cross the gap. They do not cross the gap between employees and the company, but they're very important, play very important supporting roles. The reason they don't cross the gap is you cannot engage your workforce with just these things alone. So if you do nothing else on the bridge, but you just have an amazing place to work and an amazing and football tables and great offices, that isn't going to engage your staff. But they are important supporting elements and when they're not there, they can be a real disengager. So that's the engagement bridge. It's 10 elements uh, that work together. You haven't got to be awesome at all of them, but you have to be good are all the ones from open and honest communications up and you need to outperform in some of them to really make progress in being an engaged employer and creating an engaged workforce.